Did Huawei just break the rules of modern computing? Newly uncovered patents show a full ternary chip logic system, something the tech world thought died back in the 90s. And this move could hit Apple and the US chip ecosystem harder than any sanction ever has. The global chip war is more than just business. It's a struggle over who controls future computing power, from AI to communications to national defense. When the US banned Huawei from accessing advanced chips, many believed Huawei was done. No access to five nanometer, 3 nanometer, or EUV lithography. Game over. But instead of competing on the same battlefield, Huawei may have opened a completely new one. Using a computing logic architecture that doesn't rely on the same Western chip supply chain. This video does not take sides. Every country and every company has its own interests. We are simply examining the publicly documented technology so you can form your own informed perspective. For decades, the world has relied on binary computing, systems built on ones and zeros, Apple's A-series chips, Nvidia's AI accelerators, Intel and AMD processors, all depend on that same binary silicon logic. So when the US restricted Huawei's access to advanced chip manufacturing, the assumption was that binary progress would block China's technological rise. But Huawei didn't try to keep climbing the same mountain. They found a second mountain, ternary logic computing. Instead of just zero and one, ternary logic uses one, zero, and e plus one, a third state that changes the entire architecture of computing performance. According to patent filings now circulating online, Huawei and the Chinese Academy of Sciences have been developing a balanced ternary logic chip where each computing state carries more information than binary. In practical terms, this means more calculations per clock cycle, lower power consumption, higher efficiency in AI math operations. This isn't just theory. Reports mention early prototypes tested inside Huawei's internal AI labs, and leaks suggest the performance per watt could surpass several Western chips in specific workloads. Think of binary computing like a highway with two lanes. Left lane is equal to zero. Right lane is equal to one. Ternary computing is like a highway with three lanes. You move more traffic using the same road. This means the chip can process more information using the same silicon area. So even if Huawei can't build the smallest three nanometer chips yet, a ternary chip could still outperform binary chips in certain AI math tasks. Huawei hasn't just built chips. They've built an entire ecosystem around them. Harmony OS, Kunping, and Ascend AI processors, their own compiler and instruction stack. And now Chinese universities have begun updating textbooks and research labs to support ternary computing logic, meaning new engineers will be trained for it. This is not just a chip, it is an alternative path, one the West currently isn't prepared to counter. Huawei didn't just survive sanctions. They may have used that pressure to change the direction of computing itself. Binary versus ternary, Apple versus Huawei, US versus China. This is no longer just competition. It is a race to define the core math of the future. What do you think? Is ternary computing the real breakthrough or just hype? Comment your answer below. Team binary or team ternary? And subscribe for more global chip war updates.